can't wait for you guys to meet his parents. Wonderful to meet you. I so enjoyed getting to see this film and it reminded me a little bit of Father of the Bride and I loved your characters because you know they're the groom's parents and they come in and they have a pretty different viewpoint than the brides so of course that makes for you know a fun bouncing off point. Everything you just said was spot on. It is kind of like a father of the bride, meet the parents, but also very real and poignant and encouraging and inspiring. And we love being the parents of the groom. It was a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, it was so much fun uh, working uh, with the other couple, the other married couple. They were, they were amazing, Bart and Robin, Robin, Robin. Yeah. who are amazing to work with. And we just had a lot of fun. It was so much, you know, art. My character brings in the book of Strong Fathers, Strong Daughters, as, as you know. And it was just kind of cool to be that guy that's like, hey, maybe you should think about it this way or think about it that way and read this book because it's awesome and it'll help you out. And so it's just a lot of fun. It's less often that you see men getting vulnerable with other men on screen. So that was super interesting to me. And the fact that the two of you are married in real life, what is some advice that you can share with us? Well, the book that the movie's based on, Strong Fathers, Strong Daughters, um, Meg Meeker, the author, who's a pediatrician, and she's such an excellent and fearless communicator of what's important and what matters. And some, some of those truths are hard to hear. The pain the, the, uh, that so many young people, especially girls, can be in when they don't have that connection, not just boys, but girls specifically, with their, with their dad. A dad um, in, informs the self-esteem of a, of a young woman. Uh, she, he's the one that tells her without even words how she feels about herself. How does he see her? How does he feel about her? What are his hopes for her? And does he believe in her? All those things. And I remember myself thinking about that without even knowing what I was thinking, wanting that information from my father. I think it's just a biological reality of our humanness. And uh, what I love is that our movie celebrates how important that bond is in a fun, relatable, entertaining way. I really think that our writers and our director, David DeVos, and, you know, the cast, it, you know, as an actor, we promote the things that we're in. Uh, it's part of our job, and most of the time, I have to say, I enjoy it because I, I enjoy what I do. It is an absolute privilege and honor to promote this specific movie, being a mother of daughters. My husband... I'm blessed enough to have a husband who has innately known these things uh, about the importance of being a dad. He's such a hands-on dad. I used to joke that he had, you know, maternal instincts that were stronger than my own. So I've seen it play out and our daughter has seen it play out. I love that you brought your daughter with you tonight to the red carpet. And it's just a testament to the two of you that she came. <laughs> and so, she loved the movie when yeah, we saw tell, it. Tell them what you think about the movie. The movie was awesome and beautiful. We watched it in our hotel room when we were on vacation. And like five minutes in, my little sister and I were like, this is really good. It's really good. And I'm really proud of them. They did such a good job. Thank you, Bridget. And yeah, they said, we love this movie. And I was like, yes, like early on. And of course, that's what you want. You want people to enjoy it, especially young people that are too cool for school most of the time. And again, what I love about our movie is that it's... Um, it's just really good. The lessons are organic. It's not like, well, let me tell you something you should know. It comes from character. It comes from entertaining uh, characterizations and the writing. And I mean, I could just go on and on, but I won't. I also love that there's this solid theme of wealth versus service. And I, I definitely think that there's a place for both. But in modern society, that line is very thin. Kelly, you are really... A great observant critic and journalist and that's something that I hadn't really thought about but you're absolutely right we're in this you know today's culture wealth equals fulfillment wealth equals success wealth equals happiness uh, not really I mean if you look sadly how many people are incredibly wealthy and are unfulfilled and look to unhealthy things for fulfillment alcohol drugs all kinds of things you know um, that we're all susceptible to but you're right uh, the joy that comes from changing lives loving people I mean, I think we really know it, we feel it, when we really affect somebody in a positive way. It's such a fulfilling thing. And you're right, our movie celebrates that too. Isn't that cool? 
Yeah, um, I think service is such an important part of life. I mean, oftentimes you see like these billionaires, right? They get so, so rich after a while. They're like, okay, they come to the end of themselves and they're like, okay, how can I be of service? And then they start these gigantic, you know, funds to help people because I think that there's there's an emptiness in that. But in but but when you live a life of service, there's true fulfillment, I think. Yeah, I mean, that's, and so many of them are so generous and so wonderful. And that's something that just, like you said, it taps into our humanness and how those things can compete and get blurred, but they're different. And, you're, and you're, they're both important because with our wealth, there is, there is some fulfillment in being able to meet your responsibilities and to be able to even be as generous as one wants to be. But they can't replace, it can't replace the other theme that's in the film and also in real life is this idea of fathers and David speak to this and their desires and plans for their children um, based on their giftings and kind of skill sets but we all know that they might sometimes have a different idea of what their future looks like how do you navigate that yeah I, I always I always say that that raising children is not like telling them where to go right but you, you are kind of loosely guiding right? You're like, just make sure you don't go this way. Oh, okay, make sure you don't go this way. Okay, let's stay on this way. You know what I mean? But but within those parameters, there's a lot of freedom, right? And at some point, we do have to let them flourish with their natural abilities and their natural gifts and let them fly, you know, like in the, uh, like in the movie. You, let them, you, you leave them in God's hands for them to be able to, to realize their gifts and their dreams and all that kind of stuff. But it, it is a difficult job, you know, because part of our job is to guide, but then part of our our job is to just kind of pray sometimes and just hope that things turn out well that you've that you've imparted with them the right kind of knowledge and that kind of stuff and I'm then not just gonna pretend I've mastered it no because I'm in it I'm in the thick of it right now Yeah, and it's always a learning process but the the key is to keep learning and try it and do your best always, you know. One of my favorite lines in the film, you actually deliver, and it's something to the effect of, you know, you've been praying for your child's spouse their entire life, and you, to the other dad and family, are our answered prayer. Talk to me about the power of prayer and what that can look like and how it's different for everyone. One, one of the things, and, and what's crazy about that line is that's what we've been doing their entire lives, our two daughters, We've been praying for their spouse since they were tiny because he's out there somewhere, right? And so we're praying for him constantly, like just like, you know, I hope he's getting the right knowledge. I hope that his parents are guiding him towards you and all these kinds of things. So that way, when they finally meet the guy, he's perfect. <laughs> yes, perfect in our eyes. Yes. That's right.